Guys, did you know there is a KFC buffet here in Japan? Actually, there's three of them, and I'm standing outside one of them here in Osaka, Japan, at Lalaport Expo City. And I'm really excited to show you guys this buffet. I never imagined there'd be a KFC buffet. And they have other things on the menu besides chicken. They have pasta, and they also have like salads. There's also potato or gratin, I believe, and also dessert. They have ice cream. So if you guys enjoy buffets and you enjoy KFC, you're going to love this episode. So be sure to stick around. Okay, here we are guys. We're here at KFC Buffet and let's go get some food because I'm really hungry. All right, I'm gonna pick up some corn here. This is bacon and asparagus scrambled egg. That looks really good. <laughs> Tandoori chicken here, guys. Also, they have fried rice here. Also, they have some chicken and corn in there. Shrimp and broccoli macaroni. This is like the macaroni and cheese right here. This is a shrimp and tomato spaghetti. Also has some broccoli in there as well. Okay, and this is the chicken section here. And right here they have a display of all the different types of chicken here. And you got a thigh. And also got some wings in there. Also we have a drumstick. Way back there is drumstick. Drumstick? This one? Yep. Oh, here. There you go. There it is. Yep. All right, guys, first round is here, and we got a lot of good things. Of course, we had to get the chicken first. Look at that plate of chicken here. We <laughs> got, got two wings, a thigh, and a leg already. We got a lot of chicken as well. And also nice about this buffet is that they offer you different things here. We got pasta here. We got some rice. We also have some egg. It's just a variety of food right here. So I'm really excited to dig in. But First things first, let's go ahead and try some chicken. We're gonna go ahead and start off with, of course, the drumstick here. So this is the original recipe here. We're trying it off with the drumstick. Mm. Oh yeah. That original recipe, that's so familiar. Also, you have it where it's fresh. We were here first, so the chicken hasn't been sitting out there that long. So really moist, soft chicken. All right, this is the bacon and broccoli pasta here. Mm. Has broccoli in it, but the bacon and cheese alone, mm, that's really good. All right, this is the shrimp and broccoli pasta here. Mm. That's a good sauce. The thing about it is you have all these different things that are not chicken related on the menu, but they're really good still. And for a buffet, all you can eat. This is something I didn't expect to see. They have a KFC tandoori chicken. Let's give it a try. Mm. Wow, I'm actually kind of surprised. Tandoori chicken tastes like tandoori. Mm. Right? Mm. One thing about it is that it's a milder tandoori flavor, but I can taste the tandoori in it. The spices, really good. Wow. Also, we have like it's asparagus, scrambled egg with bacon. Really creamy. Right? That's really creamy. Wow. Guys, if you're a fan of asparagus, you'll love this. Asparagus, bacon, scrambled egg. Mm. I like that. This is my favorite so far. Real good. All right, we have the fried rice here with some chicken and corn. Mm. Has a garlic flavor to it, so it reminds me of like garlic fried rice. Of course, the typical of corn here. You'll find corn in the United States, KFC. But one thing nice about this is it has menu items that are not available on the US KFC. So, a lot of fun to be here. Okay, after you're done with your chicken wing or chicken bone, you put it here in the bucket. Let's try a thigh piece here. 
Mm. I'm really glad you took them. Mm. Super juicy, tender. It's good KFC. All right, chicken wing. Big piece of meaty chicken there. Mm. Really good. The only thing I wish is they would have more of the crispy fried chicken. I'm more of a crispy fried chicken kind of person. This is just the original recipe, but for a buffet, I'm not complaining. Moist and juicy. Mm, mm hmm ah, I just want the juicy chicken, moist, original recipe seasoning, so yeah, that's good chicken. Round two has begun, and we're gonna get some curry soup. And they have this instruction here, how you put the chicken in the curry soup. So we're gonna try that. Potato. And potato, nice. Guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a melon soda with ice cream. Here you go, I got the vanilla ice cream here. There it is. Now it looks like some melon soda. Look hey guys, melon soda right here. That's how it's done. They also have some juice and some tea over here. Potato and sausage and carrots. They also have some focaccia bread. Ooh, that looks good. Yeah. And I'll try Kacha bread here. It's like pepperoni on it. Mm. And also we have French toast. We got some French fries here as well. They have some bread over here and croissant. Some more chicken. We have to get chicken thigh for our soup. Chicken tender. There it is. I'm gonna get some syrup on that. And instead of chicken waffles, we have chicken and French toast. A couple of chicken nuggets. Nice. All right, we have maple syrup over here, guys. So we're gonna have chicken and French toast. That looks awesome. All right, and they offer a salad, so we're gonna make a little salad here. It's veggie dressing. All right, this is round two. We got some salad, also got myself a drink, and then also got this curry soup. Whenever I see melon soda on the menu, I'm always looking for a melon soda with ice cream. So we got vanilla scoop out of the dessert section and melon soda. Mm. That way you have a creamy melon soda. It's really good. And uh, traditionally I get the chicken and waffles, but they don't have chicken and waffles because they don't have waffles. So I'm using French toast. And they also have this crispy chicken tender. And I got maple syrup on here, guys. So we're gonna have uh, French toast and maple syrup and chicken. Okay. All right, French toast, maple syrup, and crispy chicken tender. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. No, seriously, if you don't have waffles, use French toast. Of course, they don't offer French toast in the United States, so improvise. French toast, and chicken, crispy chicken tender. There you go. Secret hack for you. Come here to the buffet. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. They said they're supposed to have this chicken pie, and they're supposed to put it actually in the soup. So, in this curry soup here. So I'm gonna let it sit here and it's supposed to absorb some of the curry flavor in this chicken. Okay, while I'm here, let's go ahead and try the potato here. There you go. Mmm. That is good curry. Japanese curry, so a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy, but that wonderful curry flavor. Yeah. Very good curry. All right, guys. We'll go ahead and shred this chicken up. Yeah. We'll take it off the bone here. All right, we have some onions in here, some chicken and curry, like that. And this is the chicken thigh with the curry soup. Mmm. That's a wonderful combination. Curry soup with the chicken. It's really tender chicken meat. 
Mm. Great idea. All right, we got these croissants here. I'm actually gonna make a little bit of sandwich with this one. All right, so we got the chicken nugget here. Put like just like that. And they add a little bit of coleslaw on top. See. Just like that. Yeah. Now you have yourself a little chicken sandwich with coleslaw. Be creative, improvise. There you go. Mm. This sounds really buttery. Oh my gosh. And coleslaw refreshing. Mm. I'm just giving you guys a lot of uh, ideas of what to do if you do come here. Mix it up. Mm. Or you can do it at home. <laughs> or you can do it at home. It looks like they have a, like a little pizza here with a kakasha bread. And they'll take a pepperoni, onion, jalapeno, and cheese on here. A little tomato sauce, so let's give this a try. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. It's good pizza, but no, it's a lot of bread, so less than green on top, but it's not too bad. All right, made a little salad, give it a try. There you go, salad. Mm. That's a good job, salad dressing. And it's nice and refreshing. They have salad with all that greasy food and all the carbs. Mmm. Edamame. Mmm. And seaweed. Mmm, very good. All right, guys, gonna do a little something different here. We're gonna actually use the biscuit as dessert. We're gonna have tiramisu ice cream on our biscuit. Tiramisu? Tiramisu. Strawberry. Strawberry. Nice. Also, they have chocolate, the vanilla, it looks like matcha. All right. And maple syrup to top off the ice cream. Here it is. All right, guys, here it is. We got biscuit with some tiramisu ice cream, strawberry ice cream, and some maple syrup. I got a little cream puff here and a little bit of like a pudding. It's the traditional this KFC biscuit here that I'm having as dessert. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. One thing I noticed, they didn't actually have mashed potatoes and gravy, which I know they have mashed potatoes and gravy with the biscuit. So, anyways, I'll have the dessert. Mmm. All right, let me try this little pudding here. Mmm, that's nice. Very delicate pudding. It's like vanilla. Nice. Mm, that's really good. Really creamy. Also, got the cream puff. Oh, it's cream puff. For a one bite cream puff, guys. <laughs> you don't need a spoon for it. Um, there you go. Good cream puff. Mm. Okay, that is our time at KFC Buffet here in Osaka at Lalaport Expo City. And as you can see behind me, it is crazy busy. It is spring break for a lot of the students, so a lot of fans are out enjoying the weather as well as enjoying the mall and KFC Buffet. So, and we really had a wonderful time. The KFC Buffet is 2480 and that is 2,480 yen. And they have an 80 minute time limit, which I didn't mention earlier. So if you decide to come here, just be aware there's a time limit, but we worked it all the way down to the last five minutes. So we had a lot of chicken. But if you like today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Your support guys means the world to me. And we're really excited to be over 5,000 subscribers. And I'm really excited to see what 2024 holds for our channel. Also, if you have any comments, be sure to leave them below. I always love to hear from you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful day wherever you are, and we'll see you back in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.